your odor. Something like rubber or vinyl. Oh no. These sensations are too... too what? Too rational for it to be a dream. Room four, I think. Then what is it? What is happening to me? Why can't I move my lips? I can feel them. But, but I can't speak. I can't move at all. I'm paralyzed. We're rolling. What is this? A moving bed. I must be in a hospital. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. All except for the minor matter of being scared out of my mind. I feel no pain. What is going on here? I have a trail. I scream, but nothing comes out. If I'm dead, how can I feel? You're looking good, Howie. How can I hear that idiotic music? Rusty. Oh, that off. what kind of a mess have I gotten myself into? So, Mike, what are we doing here? Gentlemen from up north, looks like a heart attack. Heart attack? Medical records? Are hey. they talking about me? From the Columbia Presbyterian Hospital in New York City. Next of kin? Sister. How do they know about my sister? Well, I'll uh, call her when we get the results. That's decent of you. A lot of ducks just send a letter. Yeah, well, we care for the dead. Dead? But we serve the living. No. Wait, please. Don't let me be dead. I'm breathing, aren't I? My lungs are, aren't crying for air, so I must be okay, right? Expansive haircut. Except if you're dead, they, they wouldn't be. Excellent dentistry. Oh, I smell cigarettes on your breath. If I, if I can smell, I, I must be breathing, right? Now, how much would a dude like you be worth? Dead lungs don't breathe. Dead lungs can sort of just take it easy. Tell me, how are we in here? We're all brothers. Why can't you see that I'm breathing, you clown? He's alive. He's seen something. Oh, God bless you, Rusty. He's alive. It's a miracle. 
I love you, Dr. Arlen. Will you marry me? You stop that now or I'll have you fired. Let's go. What's wrong right. with you people? Of Help me. Class wit. Help me, please. I didn't do it. It was Howie. Bite me. I am a moron. Just put a lid on it. And why is she being such a bitch to me? Because you asked for it? Or did I? Oh, trapped inside your own mind. And nobody knows. Surprised to see you here today, Peter. Oh, a good surprise, I hope. I know you work Saturdays. Saturday. Luck of the draw, I guess. Today's Saturday. Why is that important? That's it. Now I know why I wasn't at the convention. I was playing golf. Oh, yeah. Now don't you worry, Howard. I'm only out by one. Worry? <laughs> I'm Howard Cottrell. Known to my colleagues in the gladiator pit we call the New York Stock Exchange as Howard the Conqueror. I trust Angela is having fun. She loves it here, thank you. Do you mind? What the hell is that? Heat lightning. I didn't die on the golf course, did I? That's all, folks. Get out of here. I still got my shot. You get zapped by lightning, pal. You're going home in a Ziploc bag with a side of South Carolina barbecue sauce. Feeling threatened, Ed? Afraid your mighty one-stroke lead might suddenly evaporate? I knew it. The only threat around here is your banana ball. Go ahead, doctor. Play through. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. I'd hate to drop dead when I'm two under par. <laughs> oh, easy there. Uh, right? Let's go get it. It's a five dollar ball. Oh, please. Sign here, please. Bear down hard. That's three copies. Can we speed up that photography? Turn down the lights. My eyelids are like lines on broken rollers. If I'm alive, why doesn't she see my pupils contract? Roger that. I'm dying for smoke. didn't contract. I hit a wide shot and... Oh, oh, oh. Around here somewhere. The ball. I was looking for my ball. It's gone. Forget it. <laughs> there you are, you little bugger. Well, don't make it an opera. Just pick up the ball. I know what you're trying to do. There's no way you can make that shot. Come on, Ed. Just let me play my game. Who's stopping you? You know what your problem is, Ed? What's my problem? I'll tell you. You don't see the larger picture. Oh. Are we back on the Montero deal again? We blew that deal because, as usual, you were thinking cheap. Oh, I'm cheap? <laughs> For the price of a ball, you put our lives at risk. You are such a wimp. Oh. Wimp. I'll grow up. You know what? You go on. I'll walk back. Ow! Damn it! What now, Commander? Welcome to the Vietnam of Myrtle Beach! Yeah, well, take no prisoners. Damn, it would have to be the 18th. The place is probably infested with ticks. Ah! Howard?
He's had a heart attack. He, he isn't moving. I'm on my way. This way. Yeah. Who <coughs> oh. are oh. <laughs> Easy, boy. This way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Breathe on that, Sonny. Smell that twenty dollar bill. If I made it a hundred, yeah. he's dead. What? Heart attack. I've seen it before. The Yankees come down here. Can't take the humidity. No, no, no. This is a joke. You can't just say someone's dead. I just did. Is that the way you crackers do it in the boondocks? Ever heard of CPR? This is Howard. Okay, this is my buddy Howard. So please, could somebody call an ambulance? Yeah. New York, Chicago, old Paris, France. Dead is dead, Sonny. Except when the deceased is still breathing. The deceased is a well-developed, well-nourished Caucasian male. A rigor mortis is not discernible. No signs of medical intervention. Incompetent morons. Oh, Rusty. Oh, this must be hell. We're all out of body diagrams. Yeah. Am I being punished for every well, bad and selfish them. thing I've ever done? I refuse. I won't go out this way. Humiliated by a bunch of small-town losers. Where did you get that guy? Crawled out of a petri dish. Poor Rusty. Breaking my heart. The patient was pronounced dead by... Who was he attending? Kazalian. Is he still around? He's the guy that performed the physical on Noah when he grounded the Ark on Mount Ararat. <laughs> Listen to her. She's laughing while they're getting ready to cut me. Like, like the field autopsies I saw in Vietnam. The blades snap through the sternum. The rib cage pops apart. They, they pull off your face like a kid's Halloween mask. And then you're nothing but a, a piece of human garbage. I'm being allowed to do this? In Dr. Katie Arlen's autopsy room? Despite my reputation, I do know how to share. Oh, I am flattered. Don't be. You're holding them upside down. Oh, for God's sake, don't help him. I knew that. It's a whole different thing from looking at slides under a microscope. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, I'm grateful for the hands-on experience. Oh, it's tough making a career change. Keeps life interesting. Shut up and pay attention! I remember what happened! Here's my hypothesis. IHSS. Idiopathic hypertrophic subaortic stenosis. No symptoms, and it wouldn't show up on physical exam. IHSS? Good bet. Dollar in the kitty. You're on. My leg. Look at my left leg. That's the trouble, not my heart. I was bitten by a snake. Why can't you see that? Please, you can't do this. You can't cut me up. Help me. Don't you realize I can still feel? it rise and fall no matter how shallow my respiration you're the damn experts oh this table is ice cold can't they see goosebumps Ow. it's all wet from, from the jungle of course not i don't do laundry my skin is smooth as marble where is the lovable rusty when you need him huh outside torturing small animals <laughs> what for the torture chamber's right here 
have a dark blue polo shirt, short sleeves, size large, grass stains, otherwise unremarkable. Watch it. Oh, if they snip me there, I'll go insane. But it won't matter, because they'll keep on cutting like it's one big joke. Boxers or jockeys? In Katie Arlen's autopsy room, we do not discuss the deceased's underwear, except in clinical terms. Jockeys. <laughs> Boxers. I mean, look at the guy. The joke's on you, suckers. Wait till I get out of here. You're looking at one hell of a lawsuit. I'll sue you and your children and your children's children. I'll cripple you. Red. But it's not Valentine's Day. Just saving it for you, Angela. Like I save all good things. Oh, honey. <laughs> Surprise. For three amazing years, my darling. So, what exactly is this? It's whatever we want it to be. I definitely want it. Under other circumstances, having a woman do what she's doing would oh. make me extremely happy. Can you hold him up? Now yeah. I know what dead is. Oh. <laughs> My wiener is lying there like a stunned mole. Oh, no wonder he had a heart attack. I didn't Dad. have a heart attack. I was bitten by a snake. I'm in great shape. Where is Rusty? All this You're time. blind, lady. Blind with down. lust. Just my lousy piss, luck. Piss me off. Oh, he does it because he's in love with you. Would you be interested in doing the autopsy? Or would you prefer to just observe? No. He's a rookie. What are you thinking? Why am I not in Columbia Presbyterian Medical Center in New York City where doctors are doctors? You want me to do the autopsy? Yeah, I think so. Okay, sure. You'll assist, right? Your trusty co-pilot. I, I think it would be an excellent teaching opportunity. You bet. Please, don't. Please don't. I, I think you'll want to start with the external examination. Right. I can't take this anymore. They're upset. Wait, there is a way. A sneeze will show that I'm alive. I can't even sneeze. Screwed again. Head is normocephalic. Covered by medium length, slightly graying hair with mild temple balding. All those hours at the gym, and what does it come down to? Mild temple balding. Equal. And the next um, thing you know, you're a teaching opportunity. With clear sclera, no petechiae on sclera, or conjunctivity. So, what does that tell you? No evidence of asphyxia. And what about heart attack? Still a possibility. Think, Howard. Use your brain. It's the only thing that's working. How can you get their attention? You can make the presumption that the exertion was too much for the old guy. Old balls! And you wish you had some. And I will be very curious to open up his heart and have a look. Yeah, so am I. Would I insult you if you were dead? Chest unremarkable. Uh, abdomen. Mildly obese. Genitalia are those of an adult, uncircumcised male. How would you describe these? Um, multiple. I like feel everything you're doing down there, so cut it out. I mean, I mean, I mean, don't, don't cut it out. Just quit it. Get your pretty nose out of there. Or abdomen and groin area. Oh, that's poetry. Scars from the war. I am seeing all kinds of scratches, bug bites, sugar bites on the extremities. Multiple elongated scratch type abrasions on the lower extremities with associated mild edema. That's it. In the vicinity of the left. That's it. Getting closer. Good. 
Very good. Now you're getting it. Uh, there are mosquito bites on the left calf that look infected. Keep looking, for the love of God, keep looking. We'll do a biopsy on that. Although, if we're right about the heart, we won't need to. Hmm. Unless, what, would you like me to just, uh, slice them open now? No, no, don't! No, they're pretty clearly mosquito bites. They're not mosquito bites! Hmm. Postmortem changes are surprisingly minimal. Good color, no contusions. No lividity. Guy almost looks like he could be alive. Doesn't he wish? Yes, right. I am. I am alive. Yeah. Okay, let's just flip this pancake. Stop. Right. You're missing it right in front of your face. Oh, my nose. What if I suffocate like this? Okay. Okay, this could be good. Bleed. Please, bleed. Right. Only don't just bleed. Gush. Yes. Yes, let my face smack down onto the table like a ten-ton weight, and then they'll know. No neck injuries. No rigor. Peter, you wimp! What is that? Some kind of cattle thermometer? Oh! I take it back, dear God, and they didn't exactly go crazy with the lubricant. You have a gift, Dr. Jennings. Oh, think of something. Okay, anything. Watch think of the mother of all... Dissection. Home runs. Screws. I don't it think was... Uh, uh, really? Bucky Dent. Uh, Bucky Dent's three-run homer against the, uh, the Red Sox, 1978. Uh, all the relief. The Yankees clinched. Of course, that guy's remarkably elevated. <laughs> no, no, seriously. I... Well, here's your diagrams. He still got his shoes. Whose fault is that? Got that? Hmm? Oh. Wait till you see what's coming down the pipe. What the hell will they do to me now? Drunken gas at a hotel. Got to oh. steam. Like a chicken dumpling in the sauna. Body's in the meat wagon. It's on the way. How does a corpse maintain a temperature of 94.9 degrees? It's a clue, genius. Pay attention. Well, they plucked him off a golf course on a hot summer morning. You want to know what did him in? A vampire. Well, that would be consistent with your deranged worldview. Two tiny holes right here. Oh, an ankle-sucking vampire. Well, explain the fact there are two tiny holes of equal size. Rusty, are you the only sane one here? Sock made in Taiwan, buddy. It was a snake. Did you bleach these tools? Dr. Allen, I know my job. And how come you're letting him do it? S-N-A-K-E, snake. Carry on. No, don't go. Don't leave me alone with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Well, it's all me. What's all you? The femoral stick. Stick? Second blood sample to cross-check the tax results in the heart blood. What stick? I know what a femoral stick is, Rusty. Oh, but have you ever done it, Dr. Hotshot? Not that kind of stick. You ever stuck it to a cord? No, R Rusty. You want a good, clean, vertical stab. One time only. No, Rusty, we're friends. Right in the vein. Rusty! Good thing this guy's feeling no pain. Will I still be alive when they cut out my heart and hold it up dripping before plopping it into the weighing pan? Fascinating how the tools of autopsy haven't changed in decades. Don't they say the brain remains conscious after the heart stops? For how long? We have new technology. Two seconds? Yeah, yeah but basically it's still the same. Five? A whole minute? Welcome to the Dr. Katie Harlan Show. You are deranged. And there are lots of secrets in the autopsy room. Don't bro. feel the need to share, Rusty. You know why Katie likes it here? Because it's down and dirty. She don't know that side of her yet. Well, she's a babe. She's your boss. And he's a human being. You should show more respect. Despite your bad boy act, Rusty. You can't really take it, can you? Do me a favor, Doc. You're not in the lab anymore. You should feel a little faint when we're peeling off his face. Just put your head down between your knees and uh, whistle. When we make that incision from ear to ear and peel off his face, you know what we'll see underneath? Yours. One day, lying on this table, it'll be you.
Turn that off. Well, stop fighting like school children and listen to me. Well, I need a hair. Turn Get that, that thing away from me. If he doesn't slice my nose off, I'll have a chance. It's baby's first autopsy. What am I thinking? You're cruising, bro. Okay. I'm still breathing. If I can breathe, even slightly, then I can make a noise. If I can make a noise, they'll hear. Let's turn on the fan. It's getting ripe in here. Oh, no, I'll take the smell any day. What do we got? Now what? Genitalia. Why are they obsessed with my private parts? According to his medical records, it's due to a anti-personnel device during his tour of Vietnam. The poor guy must have stepped on a landmine. That shrapnel is consistent with the old scar we found on the external examination. It's going to be a challenge. How so? Well... We gotta get out all those pieces and verify that they are shrapnel from the war and not some new injury which might have contributed to the cause of death. They're gonna cut out every single scrap Rusty? of shrapnel? Get me a long pickup with Oh, don't do it. Don't do it at all. I'll, I'm on my break. I'll establish a scholarship. Uh, the, uh, the Dr. Katie Arlen Award for Humane Treatment. You like it? Please, leave me some dignity. Not exactly what you signed up for, was it? Stop feeling sorry for yourself. I'm thinking about you. I told you I'm fine. <sighs> if it wasn't for Lyndon Johnson's dirty little Asian adventure, we wouldn't keep having this conversation. You are greater than the sum of your parts, my dear. Yeah. Only certain parts have higher market value. Let's watch the movie. Mm. You expect a four-star romance, you get previews of coming attractions. It's not the first time, Howard, and I'm still here. I'm continually amazed. Why? I love you. And I love you. I guess deep down I'm just afraid that one day you're gonna run off with some 250-pound weightlifting football player stud who's hung like a horse and has impregnated thousands of women with his manly seed that travels at the <laughs> speed of light. And... You are everything I need. Or haven't I made that perfectly clear? Spell it out for me. It can't be. It just can't be. Strangely enough, nobody seems to have any idea where the golf clubs went. They could still be in the ambulance, or in the corners, or already checked into the system. What the hell system is that, anyway? Howard bought those clubs in Scotland. I was with him. We played seven courses in five days. I'll tell you this, Angela. We are not leaving this piss-poor excuse for a hospital until we find them. Who cares about the golf clubs? Angela. 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 was Howard Cotrell. How did that microsecond in Vietnam change his life? That's not our business here. Have a look at him. Good-looking, successful businessman dies a thousand miles from home on a golf course. All we care about is what caused him to die, not our personal philosophy. Interesting how a body speaks to us for life lived. Damn right, Junior. And it's a life worth saving. Almost lost it once, but Howard the Conqueror came back. Half the man, but twice the fortitude. And I'm not giving up without a fight. Take it easy, Angela. You see this ring? Well, how do you think I feel? The last thing I said to him was, oh, grow up. We can't bring him back. I never got to say goodbye. Well, you can say goodbye at the funeral. We'll have the biggest funeral the stock exchange has seen since the dot-com disaster. 
What's the matter? That's where Howard is right now. He's in the morgue. We can't think about that. Come on, let's sit down. Come on. Is that that guy's stuff that just brought in? Howard Cottrell, yeah. 50-50? To deceased personal property, dude. Well, how much you think a set of clubs like that is worth? Nothing to you. Those clubs are no good to Howie. His things belong in the vault. That's where they go. Why these hackers need a big tour bag is beyond me. Cheap shot. Five bucks as I get that cane on top of Gurney. Oh, stop fooling around. see with their eyes to make the initial y incision will extend from the front of the shoulders to the xiphoid process She's giving him an anatomy lesson now at this late stage what difference does it make do it make it merciful and quick dr arlo yes can i call you katie please katie i would like to change my hypothesis all right well, we have a body without a mark on it. And we know the deceased was playing golf and well, a metal club acts as, a, as an antenna for electricity. He could have been struck, struck by, by lightning. lightning. I'd rather go up in a oh, flash than lie here like this. How long can I stare into the white light of my own death? Very often. How much more can I take? Yes, no, stop, go. I'm freezing invisible. To them, I'm just a used up body. I've never actually seen anyone who succumbed. Can you imagine what it's like? Yes, I can. Surrounded by so-called experts. Go ahead. But totally alone. Go ahead with the, uh... Life away from me, you wimp! You're not fit to end my life. I want a pro. Uh, you know, um, I seem to be having a problem. May I help you? When you've done a lot of autopsies, you tend to just go zip, zip, zip. But when you've never done one, you tend to go eek, eek, eek. No, no, no! Did you have any idea that Howard had heart problems? No. He was healthy as a horse. Kept in shape. Ate right. We were in love. You were the joy of his life. At least you had that. For a while. 
I want to see him. Put it out of your mind. He's all alone. We have to believe that Howard is at peace. What's going on? You know, I seem to be having a bit of a problem. Spared. But for how long? You know, ever since you've you've been on this rotation, I I don't know. Every time we're alone in this room together, I I can barely concentrate. I, <laughs> Luckily you can't make mistakes with dead people, otherwise. Oh, you wacky jokester, what a stitch. What can I say? I, I'm crazy about you. That's really good advice, don't you think? This place is where death rejoices in teaching those who live. But Peter, we we can't. We can't. I mean, maybe it would be good, well, astonishing for a while, but we've got to work together. And, you know, we just, just, what if? Rejoice. Love in bloom. How could it get any worse? Try something weird with me. I'll go public. Who says the dead can't speak? it up. That gentleman who got steamed in the sauna is on his way and we're behind schedule. I can feel a change in the air. Oh, I'll try again. They're serious now. Sure. Go ahead. It's coming. Oh, the sure? end of Howard Cottrell. It won't hurt for long. My body will go into shock. You missed this? You missed this wound. I'll lose consciousness. Some blast wound. I won't even know that I'm dead, will I? This is very interesting. What has my life been about? In the great passage of time, I've made no difference. Please, forgive me, anyone I've hurt, when I'm gone. Remember me with compassion. I didn't know better. I'm ready for the soul's Ooh. last voyage into silence. The testes must have swollen up down near to the size of grapefruit. Except... Mm. Huh. Lucky you didn't lose him. Uh-oh. Something's happening. Oh, what a feeling. What Out of hell and... And straight to heaven. Yeah, Snake bed. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go over there. Well, he went down like a, like a ton of cement. No pulse, no heartbeat. He's gone. This man isn't dead. He's not dead. Nope. We'll make it just fine. Oh well, my, that, that is amazingly great. Could be the result of surgery. Or she would feel it. Oh, my. Mark was bitten by a snake. Rusty, yes, yes. There was a snake in this guy's golf bag. Sing it, Rusty. Tell it like it is. Is that him? Howard. Yes, yes ma'am. Howard. Calm down. Angela. It's Angela. I don't understand. It's a miracle. Angela. No, wait, don't. 
Cut into him. Look at his socks. Socks? Look, listen to my man, Rusty. He's telling the truth. Angela, let her in. There are two, two other defects in the upper margin. Those aren't defects. They're fang marks. Show them, Rusty. If they can't see it now, I'm doomed. Seems like there's blood around. He was bitten by a snake. With a sock. I mean, look at his leg. Snake bite. Snake bite 101. I didn't see it because of the swelling caused by the scratches, but oh, there they are. Dr. Harlan. Don't stop now. One last chance to prove that I am and remain fully operational. Oh, my. Oh, Angela. Oh, Angela. That's a semi. Howard the Conqueror rises from the possible. dead. I mean, Did you ever doubt it? Even for a second, I'm back. It can't be. Boy, am I back! Hey, Dr. Arlen, you're stroking him back to love. <laughs> Dr. Arlen, you hottie. That's not a semi. That's not in the literature. It just can't be possible. I mean, he wouldn't have the neurological competence unless oh thank god thank god i'll be a better person angela my love i'll never leave you you are the best doctors in the world i'll build you a new wing i told you i'll build you a brand new hospital a chain of hospitals across america code blue in the autopsy room code blue got i got it What's happening? Is someone dying there? Where's the patient? Him. Him? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I got the leads. Well, the rest of them looks dead, right? Could have fooled me. Thank you. A real doctor. A doctor who won't kill a dead patient. Yep. There's a heartbeat. Barely, but it's there. I am good. We just saw an orderly in the same situation. He was bitten by some kind of a viper they found in the elevator. Oxygen. I mean, we sure got water moccasins. Rattlesnakes around here. Nobody's ever seen a snake like that before. Hang on, hold on. No, 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 he's starting to come out of it. Take it easy, not too fast, buddy. How do we miss this? I almost cut into a living person. Almost doesn't count. <gasps> hey, hey, no, 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 my down. They said you're dead, but you came back against all odds. Howard, my conquering hero. Oh, honey. <laughs>